The picket fence requires only two rails. Each rail consists of a single 2x4. Screw them in place approximately 6 inches from the top and bottom of the posts. Orient them such that the long side is situated vertically. Install pickets. Use either 1x4 or 1x6 for your pickets. Cut one picket and mark it with the letter T. You're going to use this as a template. Flush your template to one end of the next board to cut and trace the cuts with a pencil. Use the same template for each picket since every picket will be slightly larger than the template. Attach the pickets with either 2 inch deck screws or 2 inch galvanized nails. Building a privacy fence. If your fence has two sections, then you will need to install three rails. Otherwise, you will only need a top and bottom rail. Measure the exact distance between fence posts and cut your rail pieces to this length. If you need two rails, then cut four pieces to this length. Cut an additional piece for three rail fences. Screw together two pieces as shown in the image. These will serve as a base to attach your slats to. This configuration adds strength over single boards and will prevent your fence from sagging over time. If you're going to put lattice on top, mark the bottom edge of one of your pieces one eighth of an inch from the center on both ends and draw a straight line between them. Do this to the remaining single piece as well. Install the bottom rail, the one without the center line, 4 to 6 inches above the ground so that it is level. Screw it in place with 3 inch deck screws. If your fence design only involves two rails, install the second rail upside down from the first, 2 inches from the top in the same manner. For lattice fences, put your second rail 15 and a half inches from the top and your additional piece 2 inches from the top such that the reference line is on the same side of center as the rail below it and is on the bottom of the board. Install main panels. Screwing your slats in place will help them last. If you decide to use nails, make sure you go with galvanized 2 inch nails to prevent deterioration. Using 1x6 deck boards for slats will give your fence a more finished look. Deck boards will shrink in width over time, so place them tightly together to minimize the space that will develop as shrinkage occurs. You will have to cut the last one to fit. Cut your slats one eighth of an inch shorter than you need to, to prevent having to trim boards that are tight. If you live in an area that is abnormally windy, you will have to allow airflow through your fence to prevent lean. If this is the case for you, alternate your slats between sides of the rail that you attach them to. Install Lattice. Using 2 inch deck screws, lay 1 by 1 pieces along the center lines that you drew previously. Another piece of 1 by 1 on each end will close the square. Cut your lattice to 11 and 7 8 inches wide and to the correct length and place against the 1 by 1 frame. Create another 1x1 one one frame on the other side of the lattice and screw in place. Building a chain link fence. All hardware must be in place before any chain link is attached. This includes link anchoring hardware as well as gate hinges and latches. Then attach the top rail. View the image for a complete hardware list. This will also be available in the downloads section of this lecture. A 
attached chain link. Slide the tension bar through the first row of links and anchor this end to where you want to start from using the tension bands. Roll out fencing to the first point where it has to be cut, making sure to go around the outside of fence posts. Insert another tension bar approximately 3 feet from where you believe you will need to cut it. Attach the tightening bar to the tension bar using the hooks. Attach a come along or other ratcheting system between the tension bar and the post to tighten. Cut the fence and anchor it using another tension bar. Then release the tension. Continue this process until all sections are finished. The bottom tension wire does not weave through the fence links. It attaches to terminal posts using tension wire clips. And the fence is secured to it using fence ties as is the case to the top line post. Attach corner post and gate post caps and all gates using proper hardware. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to my channel by clicking this link. To learn how to build an entire fence from start to finish, take my free course by clicking this link. And as always, if you liked this video, share it with your friends on your favorite social site.